Ken Surfs here with another video. Now I feel like a dork because I'm looking at the uh, my Google messages, uh, Gmail messages, and uh, I see possible spam. So I, from three weeks ago. So I open it up and it's from Shaving with Rich, and he's tagged me in a video, and I'm just such an idiot that I didn't notice this until now that uh, I feel bad and I apologize, especially to Rich, because uh, uh, he, he puts out good videos. And uh, I haven't really been watching a lot uh, in the last couple of weeks, man. I was down with that uh, stupid uh, sinus infection or whatever it was. I was in Las Vegas, uh, the bowling tournament, and back to work, a bunch of stuff. But uh, excuses aside, he asked me to talk about my three favorite vintage razors. Well, uh, that's easy. Uh, I have a, a probably more than three, but I, I can pick out my three favorite. And uh, in fact, I'm going to take the camera off right now, and I'll show you uh, just a little display that I've got uh, set up, uh, not right over the sink now as part of the shave den, but kind of off to the side. It's building up a little bit. So I'll show you some of them, and then I'll talk about my three favorites. All right, let me move this camera. Right, on this side of the den, part you never see in uh, any of the videos, I've got, uh, you know, a couple of the old vintage ones going. I'm getting a lot from the uh, 60s. In fact, I think it's the 64 that has the red case. I kind of like the uh, different colored cases that they uh, come in. So these are a few of the vintage ones, but I'll talk about the, uh, the three, three of my favorites right now. All right, so three of my favorites. Uh, one of the uh, three would be the Fat Boy. And this is a 1960 Fat Boy. It's got the case, but the lid, uh, one of the handles is broken, or the, the yeah, the, the, it just doesn't stay on. But uh, my 1960 Fat Boy is one of the three. It's in pretty good shape. Let's see, Rich wanted to see it up close and personal. It's in pretty good shape. Well, you can tell I've been using it. I have, uh, I like the, the fat handles. They're kind of, uh, yeah, they're kind of uh, equivalent to some of my modern ones in the, the length of the handle. And uh, I really like the weight of this one. Uh, I like the adjustments. I usually, you can see I keep this one on three and depends on the blades that are in it, uh, whether I'm gonna get cut or not. But uh, that is, one of my favorite three. Now, you've seen me do a video on this. This is the 1959 uh, Gillette Red Tip that uh, I had sent to Razor Emporium and they did the restoration on it. And uh, they did a really nice job on that. You should have seen, or if you looked at my previous videos, you will see what that looked like before. And this was my grandfather's-in-law and uh, I really enjoy shaving with this razor but she's a little bit on the aggressive side. Uh, there, there's no adjustment on this. It is what it is. And it is a little bit on the aggressive side. And I sometimes get myself right here. This is my favorite spot to cut, right here on my neck. And uh, that is one of my three favorites. And I, I like them all the same. I'm not gonna say which one is rank one, two, or three, but I really enjoy this one too. Now, another one of my favorites is the 1969 Black Beauty. And this is the long handle Black Beauty. And actually I have this one set on four, if you can see that. There we go. And uh, they, they're, they're all very smooth. I mean, they open very well. And I really like this because uh, my dad had something similar uh, later on. He was using the, uh, the Made in England twist, but uh, he had one of these. I think his might've been the short handle, but uh, I had uh, two of these I bought at auction from eBay, the long handle and the short handle, and I like the long handle, even though I, I grip up on it. So uh, those are the three vintage razors that I like the best and uh, that I use most often. In fact, uh, maybe one, one of the next shave videos I do, I'm gonna bring out the Black Beauty again. So we'll, uh, we'll use this one. But uh, there's a bunch of cool uh, vintage razors out there and uh, I use them a lot. I'm using the modern ones. Lately I've been using the uh, Mercure 34, the G or the C, uh, because uh, there's no messing with those. I don't cut myself. I'd be a little more cautious with the old vintage ones, but man, they feel great. And I rarely cut myself with these ones. 
this one possibly being the exception. You've got to go real slow. But those are my three favorite uh, vintage razors, and uh, hopefully uh, that satisfies the tag. And I apologize about the delayed rich. Uh, I should have read it a little earlier. Uh, just blame it on me. I'm a dork. Yeah. But anyway, uh, uh, the skin surfs, and uh, looking forward to doing another shave video real soon. And this weekend, it's the uh, Big Shave West 2, so I'll be going up there and checking it out. Can't stay all day. I've got another appointment in the evening, but uh, birthday party. But uh, it should be fun. So hopefully I'll see some of you guys up there. All right, until next time, have a great night.